In this tutorial, I will show you how you can perform simple form validation using HTML and JavaScript. So, uh, follow the step given in this tutorial. First step is to create a HTML file name userrel.html with this HTML code. So, copy the HTML code first. Okay, copy the code, but let's see and open any editor. I am here using Sublime Editor and paste the code here. Okay, uh, this is a user registration form and validation will be applied in this form. So save the file uh, in your desired location. So I am keeping the file name as user res. Okay, file is saved as userrest.html. Now open any browser and uh, open the file here to see the looks of the form. Okay, this is our form. Okay, now here you can see there are uh, eight fields in the form, sorry, seven fields in the form and in the submit button. And I will do the validation for these six fields. Okay, now go for the next step. Step two uh, create a send message function and uh, add this code in the head section. So copy and I'll go to the head section and paste the code here. Okay, in this section, uh, seven variables are declared here, which is said initially false for taking seven type of validation. And send message uh, will uh, display uh, in the right side of this field show uh, to show any message for this particular field. So now I have to add code for calling this method from the form field. So now I'll go for the next step, step 3, and add this code in the corresponding field. Suppose um, uh, this code is for uh, name field, so copy this line and go to the name field section. This is our name field, and paste the code here. Uh, on focus even, uh, the, it will call the send message method with the message type your full name. Um, uh, after uh, calling this method, uh, it will take the uh, seven error variables value which is initially false. So this condition will be true and uh, it will show the message. Okay, uh, now at the next on focus attribute for the email field go to the email field section this one is our email field and it will display the message type a valid email address and uh, now it's at the third message for the phone number field The phone number field. And next message is for username. And fifth message is for password field. Last on focus for confirm password. Okay, save the file and go for the next step. Step four. Uh, on on focus even it will show the message in the uh, text box. 
So uh, if I run a refresh the browser and press and click the cursor in each field, then it will show the mess. Okay. Now I have to uh, remove this method uh, on on blur event. So uh, at this uh, code of step four for corresponding fields. So this one is for name field. This is our name field. And uh, this one is for our main field. This one is for for number field. This one is for username field. This one is for password field. This one is for confirm password. Okay, save the file and again and check the form by loading the page. Okay, so showing and on on loading when the message is gone. In the same way, other fields will be part. Okay. Now go for this step five and add these two functions in the script section. Here check error function will be used for taking most of the validation. And uh, this code uh, with this, uh, if any field is empty, then it will show red border and uh, show the uh, messes if passed any messes in this in the D. And uh, check empty uh, method or function will be called for checking any empty field or any invalid field. If all fields are valid, then this will show validation successful otherwise invalid data exist save the file and go for the next step step six add on click even for the button of the form Save the file and go for step 7. Add check and zero method for checking any field containing the valid new uh, valid um, character or alphabetic data. Okay, and add this function in the script section. Okay. Hmm, uh, this uh, function will be called for name and username field to validate the uh, data and uh, both fields will contain alphabetic character uh, and uh, then it will be uh, confirmed as valid data. Okay, save the file and go for the next step. Add this two line in the check error function to call the check entry error function. So I'll go to the check error function and paste this code here. 
it will check uh, the current uh, field name is name or user name uh, and if uh, any of these field is the current field then it will check the data for alphabetic character and uh, if it's written true then uh, it contains zero data uh, and check entry will be check the value here uh, using JavaScript built-in function is now okay so uh, this function will be called for both name and username okay. go for the next step step 9 uh, this is that on change event or name field and username field so go to the name field And go to the username field and copy the first username and paste it here. Save the file and again go to the step 10. To validate the email address at this function, check email in the script section. And paste in the script section. Okay, it will check the value of email address field with the regular expression pattern for email validity. I mean, if it returns true, then uh, black powder will be displayed in the field and it will return false. Now we have to call this function from the check error function, which is the step 11. Sorry, which will be done in the other step, step 12. Before it, uh, down the step 11, we should create check phone error method for validating the phone field. Okay, this function will check uh, the phone field and if the phone field contains numeric data then it will return false and otherwise it will return true and the border will be displayed. Go for the step 11, 12 uh, and add this code in within the check error function. So copy the code and go to the check error function. Now the code here. Okay. Here are uh, uh, three types of validation is done here. First, it will check the phone number field is valid or not, and check email is valid or not. And username field contains at least six to twelve characters. Okay, now go save the file and go for the next step. Step 30. Add on change event for phone field and email field. Go to the phone field section. Uh, at the next line for the email. Save the file and go for step 14 and final step. Save the Code, uh, sorry, copy the code and go to the check error function. And add the code here. Okay, uh, in this section, 
it, it will validate the password and confirm password field. Okay, first it will check the password will contain minimum 6 to maximum 15 characters. If not, then it will be invalid. And uh, this part or this, um, uh, this part will check both a password and confirm password fields are equal, otherwise it will be invalid. And uh, in the last part of this function will check if any error variables uh, among the seven variables uh, contain true value then error exists otherwise no error exists so uh, when uh, calling the check error function and uh, if any section error check error function returns true that mean error exists and it will show invalid data exists and if it remains false, then validation successful. Okay, now time to check the code. Go to the browser, refresh the page, and check if the trades are working or not. Okay, first of all, I will uh, type some number here which is invalid, and the browser is appeared email address which is also invalid phone number which will contain numeric array so it is also invalid username which is less than six character and invalid password which is less than six character also and that is okay uh, these two fields are not validating because i didn't uh, call the check error function here so you have to do the tax here just on change take arrow copy this code and add for password field and message six it was a message six according to the div id and field name or field ID is password. In the same way, you have to add this for check password field. In the same way, you have the, uh, this line for confirm password field also. And this the code here. And change the message field to 7. And field name as a uh, C password field ID C password. Okay. Now again I reload the page and add the code here. Okay, now it is showing both fields are not seen. And now all fields are same and if I press the submit button it is showing invalid data. Now I will make this field valid. Email address. Phone number. Username. Okay, all these are valid now. Now I will click Submit button and it is showing validation successful. Okay, hope you will try this code. Thank you.